you're one year dirtier than I thought you were. <laughs> what the hell is dirty about getting married? I'll tell you what's dirty about getting married. <laughs> <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> okay, Archie. Now, suppose you were alone at your age and you wanted to get oh, married oh, again. Hold it. I'm going to answer that question even before you ask. Oh, I would look for a woman my own age. Okay, swell. But suppose while you're looking, you happen to meet a woman of 18. She falls in love with you. Has that ever crossed your mind? Not that never crosses my mind. So you don't think it's possible for a woman of 18 to fall in love with you? Ah, woman. Wait, well, I certainly, certainly. Do you think it's possible for you to fall in love with a woman of 18? Certainly. What's the matter with me? I may be a man of 50 years of age. <laughs> But I'm alive and well, and all my parts are awake in order, and God knows I ain't no fruits. <laughs> but I like to think I can control myself. I, I mean, I'm an intelligent man. I ain't an animal of carnival instinctuals like you. <laughs> Anything your older brother tells you, and I'm telling you this, I ain't going into business with you. Shink of tears. Because I never heard anything more crazy in my whole life. Well, you and Edith ain't roping me into anything like that. Now I know why you take the Chinese food, because you and it got soft noodles. Step aside. Go ahead. Catherine Ann, come on, we're going home. We're not staying for dinner. No, please don't go. Let them go. <laughs> but we're going to have such no, a no. nice dinner. I'm sorry, you. Oh. Maybe but... it's better this way. Some other time. Oh, yeah, when you're older. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, goodbye. Well, I don't try to cash that check at the bank, because I'm going to call him up there and put a stop at Rooney on it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Uncle Archie. What are you doing here, Mrs. J? Picking up a couple extra bucks for yourself? <laughs> That's right. Under B, Mrs. Edwards. Bunker. Archie Ball. <laughs> He didn't have to say it that loud. Bunker, bunker. I don't have an Archibald bunker. Well, it's in there. Just look a little further. I have an Edith bunker. That's me. Yeah, that's my wife. She's in there. I must be there, too. Well, I can't find your name, either. Well, what do you mean, Mrs. Jefferson? It's got to be in there. Well, when was the last time you voted, Mr. Bunker? Uh, I, I voted for Nixon. Well, I should have a card here for you. That was in 1968. No, you didn't vote for that Nixon. That was the Humphrey Nixon. You voted for the Kennedy Nixon. You haven't voted since 1960. Huh? <laughs> well, listen, I had a lot of things to do. Something was always coming up. Yeah. Once he had a bad toe spasm. Oh, <laughs> Well, I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Bunker, but if you haven't registered in 11 years, you're not eligible to vote. Now, hold it. You ain't gonna sit there and tell me I ain't gonna be allowed to vote in this election. Hey, 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 hold it down now, Mac. Now, what's the trouble here? Uh, Mr. Bunker is registered, officer, and I can't find his name. Well, then look at some other book. It must be there. I've been living in this neighborhood for 30 years. I even went to school in this building here. It's gotta be there. Is his card in the book? No. Then you can't vote. Now step aside and let the lady vote. Step aside. Under B. 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 Baloney. That's what that is. Why don't you say something about this? Hey, hey, Is this guy bothering you, lady? Oh, no. He's my husband. You got my sympathy. Try and keep him quiet, will you? Will you sign here, please, Mrs. Bunker? And then go right over there. Thank you, Louise. I'll be right back, Archie. Wait, 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 wait. Come here. 
Don't say nothing to the kids about what happened over here. No? Oh, no, Archie. Not a word. I promise. Now, wait, Edith, Edith, come here. Yeah. How are you going to vote? <laughs> oh, I can't discuss that, Archie. It's a secret ballot. Edith, come over <laughs> here and sit down. <laughs> I want to know how you're going to vote. I can't tell you that, Archie. A person's vote is between his conscience and himself. Edith, do you remember when we was married, what the minister said? A man and his wife are as one. It was a beautiful thought then, and it's a beautiful thought now. And it was never truer than now, Edith, because between the two of us, we only got one vote. <laughs> because I'm registered and you're not. Because you didn't remind me to register. Oh, yes, I did. How many times? Once? Three. Three about it. Let's forget it. Lundy needs all the help we can give him. But you got a lot of votes for him last night. You was out till midnight ringing doorbells. Eat it, eat it. Listen to me. I only got as far as Kelsey's bar. I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> now, eat it. This man and wife. We're supposed to share everything, right? Yeah. So I lost my vote. You share my loss. You got your vote. I share your gain. 50 50. See how it works? <laughs> now. This is the way I want you to vote our vote. <laughs> hey, folks. Tell me, yo. Aren't you guys gonna vote? Oh, yeah, I better go in now. What about you, Arch? Oh, I already voted. I done that. That fast? Well, all I had to do was go in and vote against Packer, in and out like a shot. That's all. <laughs> well, see you at home. Hey, you need help with that crossword, kiddo. Just holler, you know, it's all your word. Because there's one thing I'm good at is words. Air cross, a biblical hymn sung in church. Oh, well, that's right up my alley there, because, uh, you know, my two best subjects is religion and wrestling. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see that biblical hymn. How many letters is that? Five. Five. I think I got that. Hold it. So, uh... Uh, I think they're wrong there. It's only four. <laughs> See, the word is Psalm, S-O-M-M. -M. <laughs> Put that down there. What am I supposed to do with the extra square? You just take your pencil and black it in. <laughs> I think it's P-S-A-L-M. Well, I ain't gonna argue with you there, Snooks. You wanna go around the rest of your life saying Pesalem? Yeah. yeah, that's okay with me. And here we are. We have the orange juice in here, and then we go in there for brunch. My, my, how fancy. All right, all right, leave it there, huh, Cosmopolitan? Oh, Daddy, stop it. I think it's very today. That's right. The in crowd never has a whole meal in one room anymore. Well, that's what they say. You're a pip, you know that? <laughs> a real pip. <laughs> married 22 years today, Daddy, so talk real nice to Mom, okay? Listen, little girl, you just go on and mind your own beeswax, huh? And pull that skate down. Every time you sit down on one of them things, the mystery's over. <laughs> what the hell is it nowadays? Will you tell me girls with skates up to here, guys with hair down to there? <laughs> I stopped in a gents room the other day, so help me, there was a guy in there with a ponytail. <laughs> My heart nearly turned over in me. I thought I was in the wrong toilet. Why do you fight it? The world's changing. That's right. That's what the Reverend Felcher was saying. You two should have heard him. Of course, Mr. Religion here wasn't seeing eye to eye with the sermon. What sermon? That was socialist propaganda, pure and simple. Now, don't give me that look. You didn't think it was so hot, neither. I said it was different, that's all. But I didn't curse the Reverend from right there in the front. <laughs> he never heard me. Besides, I ain't sitting still for no preacher telling me that I'm to blame for all this breakdown and law and order that's going on. Why not? 
We're all to blame for not paying attention to the cause of it. The cause of it? I'll tell you the cause of it. The cause of it is these sob sisters like the Reverend Felcher and the bleeding hearts and weeping Nellies like used to. Like us? Yeah. I think we better eat now. No, no, no. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. It's you. Me? Yeah, that's right. You, the property owner, which with your 24-inch TVs and your four slice toasters and your ice-making refrigerators. That's all you care about, Archie, is what you got and how you can keep it. Oh, well, you'd care about it too, Sonny Boy, if you had anything. <laughs> you wasn't living off for of me without a pot to peel a potato. <laughs> Wait a second. You're the one. You're the one who said I could stay here while I was in school. I thought it was going to be for a year while you learned to trade or something. I didn't think you was going to wind up in college learning how to be a subvasive. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. I just want to learn a little bit about society so I can help people. People? Your mother-in-law and me is people. Help us, will you? Go to work. <laughs> I know what's bothering you. You're upset because I was nailing you on that law and order thing. You nailing me? Yeah, that's right. Now I'm, now I'm going to tell you something. Oh, Michael. No, no, wait a second. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, Gloria. I know I promised, but I feel i got to say this. You know why we got to break down in law and order in this country, Archie? Because we got poverty, real poverty. And you know why we got that? Because guys like you are unwilling to give the black man, the Mexican-American, and all the other minorities their just and rightful, hard-earned share of the American dream. Who said he wasn't smart? <laughs> that's beautiful, Michael, beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. If your spicks in your space want their rightful share of the American dream, let them get out there and hustle for it just like I do. Yeah, but Archie, you're forgetting one thing. You didn't have to hustle with a black skin. No, I didn't have to hustle with one arm and one leg neither. So what? So you're admitting that the black man is handicapped. Oh, no, no more than me. He's just as good as me. Wait, I, now I suppose you're going to tell me that the black man has had the same opportunity in this country as you? More. He's had more. I didn't have no million people out there marching and protesting to get me my job. No, his uncle got it for him. Eat it. Where's Mike Dyson all I do, huh? Paying for the food, the clothes, the taxes, the household utilities, huh? <laughs> all day long on a job, working my butt off. You're like, what about me? I'm here all day working my butt off. <gasps> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> if your mother was here, <laughs> to hear that coming out of your mouth, I'm glad she died, Edith. <laughs> that killed everything you said up to that point. And now the argument is definitely over. No, it ain't over. It is no, over. it ain't over. Now, I ain't leaving here tomorrow till after that wedding, and neither are you. What? No, them people is dependent on us, and I'm dependent on you. And if you walk out on me tomorrow, you can keep on walking. <gasps> The argument is over. <laughs>